Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications. Imagine this, you're waiting for your train at the local train station. But before it arrives, you decide to use the restroom. You walk out of the station and down a short road. Open a door in a wooden fence and see a toilet sitting in a garden, contained in a glass enclosure and completely open visually to the surrounding garden. Now, believe it or not, this is a real public toilet designed near the Ichihara City Railway Station in Japan. But don't worry, while the walls around the toilet itself are of glass, its surrounding garden is private, completely walled off by a two meter high wooden fence. And if you include the size of its garden, this outhouse may actually be the world's largest toilet. But even this unconventional restroom does not win the title of world's best public toilet. I'll show you that one later. For now, Let's move away from such high designed commodes and turn to the humble outhouse. While no longer common, it used to be ubiquitous. And if you are looking to build a dry cabin or homestead, you may be considering an outhouse as an option. So in today's quick video, I'll go over a few things you should know about outhouses. Number one, an outhouse is a small structure that covers a toilet. The toilet inside the outhouse is most commonly a pit latrine, bucket toilet, or dry, that is non-flushing toilet. Which leads us to number two. Different kinds of toilets may be used in an outhouse. In the olden days, the most common kind of toilet was the pit latrine, which was a simple hole in the ground. Today, this is less common and often not allowed. Another kind of toilet is the bucket toilet. Again, in the olden days, this was, as the name suggested, a bucket or pail, which could be emptied by the owner into composting piles in the garden. Today, these kinds of toilets are more likely to have specially designed containers that can be collected by contractors for large scale disposal. And finally, you have drums and barrel toilets. You'll see these more often in public parks, especially in areas where it is not easy to regularly clean and maintain outhouses. This sort of system collects the waste in a huge drum that will eventually be helicoptered out of the area at a considerable expense. But for those of you who are considering an outhouse as part of a dry cabin or homestead that you are looking to construct, you will likely be considering a composting toilet. As the name would suggest, a composting toilet uses nature's natural decomposition process to reduce waste and convert it into nutrient-rich compost that can eventually be used as fertilizer. Composting toilets are becoming more and more prevalent in homesteading circles, but it's very important that you check the regulations in your area because not every location will allow a composting toilet. In fact, many areas won't allow outhouses altogether. So if an outhouse is part of your plan before you begin construction or before you purchase a property, if you believe you will need an outhouse, make sure you research the local zoning ordinance to see what the regulations are around outhouses and composting toilets. But don't stop there. Also speak with the state and county environmental health department. Often, regulations around outhouses and composting toilets and the like are not specifically spelled out in the zoning ordinance, but are laid out in other laws related to environmental and public health. Many jurisdictions do not like these structures for the obvious public health hazards that they can pose when they are not designed properly. And when they are allowed, there are often strict regulations that you need to follow in order to ensure that your structure is not going to become a health hazard. For example, sometimes an outhouse must be connected to a septic system or a similar kind of tank that is properly lined and contained. And if you would like to see a general overview of how each state views outhouses and composting toilets, you can check out our blog post. A link to that is in this video's description. And finally, we have a bonus pointer. Did you know that the traditional outhouse symbols do have meanings? Historically, a crescent moon typically means the outhouse is for women, and a star means the outhouse is for men. But they also serve a utilitarian purpose, for they allow light into the outhouse when the door is closed. So what is the world's best public outhouse? There are actually a number of well-designed public toilets, but the title may very well go to a public toilet in Stigestein, Norway. The public outhouse is set on the edge of a cliff and is famous for its stunning views. Now, do you have any stories about outhouses? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? 
you're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com slash glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down properties at gokchecapital.com slash listings. Finally, don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening and more to come.